Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine a point of inflection on the TI-89 graphene calculator. A point of inflection is a point on the function where it changes concavity, meaning it changes from concave down to concave up, or from concave up to concave down. To begin, we want to graph the given function. To do this, we'll press diamond F1 for y equals. Let's go ahead and clear out this old function, and enter the new function in y1. So we'll press up, clear, and then enter x raised to the power of 3 minus 9 divided by 2 x raised to the power of 2 minus 12 x plus 3. Enter. And now let's try graphing this using the standard window, which means both the x and y axes would go from negative 10 to positive 10. To do this, we press F2 for zoom and then 6 for zoom standard. If we knew we already had the standard window set, we could also press graph, which would be diamond F3. Notice how we see part of the function, but we need to adjust this window to get a better view of the function. Notice how we can eliminate some of the negative x-axis, and we'll have to decrease the y minimum to see how low this function goes in this region here. So let's go ahead and press diamond F2 for window. Let's increase the x minimum to, let's say, negative 5, enter. Let's go ahead and leave the x maximum at 10 and the x scale by 1s. And now let's decrease the y minimum to, let's say, negative 80, enter. Let's also increase the y maximum to 20, enter. And then we'll change the y scale to be 10. If this window doesn't work, we'll come back and make more adjustments. Let's graph the function again by pressing diamond F3 for graph. Notice now we have a much better view of the function. Another way that can help know how to adjust the window would be to use the table of values by pressing diamond F5. With the table set in automatic and the change of x by ones, we can scroll through the table and look at the y values or function values for different values of x to help determine how to adjust the window. But we have a nice window, so let's go back to the graph by pressing diamond F3. And notice how we can tell on the left the function is concave down, on the right the function is concave up. So there's a point of inflection somewhere in this region here. To determine that point of inflection, we press F5 for math. Notice how option 8 is inflection, which is what we use to determine the point of inflection. We can arrow down to 8 and press enter, or just press the number 8. It's asking for the lower bound, which means we place the cursor to the left of where the point of inflection would be. The point of inflection looks like it's approximately here. So let's move to the left of this point along the function, let's say here, press enter. Now it's asking for upper bound, so we must move the cursor to the right of the point of inflection. So let's press the right arrow. And this does appear to be to the right of the point of inflection, so we'll press enter. Notice how the cursor is on the point of inflection, and down below, it's giving us the coordinates of the point of inflection. The point of inflection is a point at 1.5 comma negative 21.75. The function changes from concave down to concave up at the point at 1.5 comma negative 21.75. I hope you found this helpful.